Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm reviewing the brand new Ego Power Plus 9 gallon wet and dry cordless vacuum. You guys got that right cordless. This is battery powered and I'll also be making some comparisons with my uh, current vacuum that I use for detailing. This is the rigid four gallon five peak horsepower wet dry vacuum. Uh, I've had this for years. It's a true workhorse. So we're going to be going over all the features about the Ego because this is jam packed. Uh, I think there are so many features. I could do two or three videos on them. Quick disclaimer, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. Uh, Ego did not send me uh, this vacuum. I ordered it myself online from my friends over at uh, Car Supplies Warehouse. And so by the way, I'll leave the links to all the tools, the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So first of all, the headlines. You can tell uh, it's quite big because it has a nine gallon capacity uh, compared to the Rigid, for example, which has a four gallon capacity. Obviously, this is a much more compact unit, right? Uh, this weighs in roughly 12 pounds or 5.4 kilos for this unit. Uh, it has the handle, so it's easy to lug around. There's wheels and casters, obviously, so you can lug it around the vehicle with no problems. Uh, this one here, its main advantage, obviously, is the fact that it's 100% cordless. It's battery powered. I'm going to show you, of course, the entire unit, uh, but this one is a bit uh, heavier. Obviously, it's more than double in weight. So this one here comes in at 26.7 pounds or 12.1 kilos without the battery. So obviously the battery adds a bit more weight to that, but I'll bring you in closer because again, there are so many different features. The Rigid itself, uh, at the time of this recording, uh, we're in uh, December of 2023, is can usually be found for around 100 USD. Uh, this one here, depending on which website you're ordering from, anywhere from uh, 500 USD to 700 uh, to 675 USD for the entire kit with the battery. And if you're getting just the tool itself without battery, you're looking at around 300 bucks. So obviously a big portion of the price is the battery itself. The good thing is if you have an Ego ecosystem, for example, I have my uh, Ego car dryer that I use to dry cars. Let me go get that while I'm talking about it. I also have uh, an Ego edge trimmer or weed whacker as we say. So I already have a lot of the batteries. So this is the car dryer that I absolutely love again because it's cordless. This is the 650 CFM model. Uh, I added a stubby nozzle and I'll have another video on that soon because I tried different stubby nozzles by the way uh, on it. This is the Apex Air, but Ego also released their own new stubby nozzle for it. So we'll be comparing because this one here is a lot less expensive. Uh, this one has a different style build with different options on it, but I digress. So yeah, if you already have the Ego ecosystem, you likely already have uh, some batteries. Like for this one, I use the five amp hour batteries. And in the kit, uh, they also include, if you buy the uh, Ego cordless vacuum in a kit, the five amp hour battery. Uh, you can go all the way up. I think now they make 12 amp hour batteries. Uh, but basically the manufacturer states that with the five amp hour battery, there's three speed modes. We're going to go over that in just a few seconds. Uh, but basically in the eco speed, you get up to 60 minutes of runtime. If you put it in the uh, high setting, what is called normal, you're going to get roughly 30 minutes. And if you put it into turbo mode, the highest performance, uh, you're going to get roughly 20 minutes. Uh, this is the claimed factor. Although in uh, real life durability, you're going to get close to that perhaps maybe 10 to 15 minutes in turbo mode in the real world. Of course, it always depends uh, what kind of work you're doing with this. Uh, but again, yeah, many, many different features. As far as suction capacity, the official numbers uh, for the uh, Ego, 110 CFM of suction. They call for 100 inch water lift. That's in turbo mode, right? So the highest performance mode. And for the rigid, 100, uh, 110 CFM as well. So as far as suction, they're pretty comparable. And uh, you'll notice power is not going to be an issue. Uh, even in what they call their high speed mode or the normal mode, you're going to get more than enough power. It's very rare that you'll need to use turbo, but it's there if you need to. Uh, you guys probably noticed this is not the stock hose that comes with the uh, rigid vacuum. So this is the upgraded car detailing deluxe kit. It comes with uh, different attachments and accessories, but more importantly, the hose, because the original stock hose that comes with it isn't uh, very, very high quality. Uh, so this one here is much better, more pliable, more flexible, and yet uh, still stiff or rigid enough to resist any kinking. And uh, also stay tuned all the way till the end because I'm also going to be using a dB meter so you guys can see uh, what a pretty powerful uh, vacuum will do, the corded version, and how it sounds compared to the 
Ego. So let me bring you in closer and let's have a look at all the features that come with it. All right, guys, let's go over the features because there are so many of them. Uh, first of all, the motor is a brushless motor. Once again, 110 CFM of suction, which equates to roughly 100 inch of water lift, according to the company. And uh, it comes on wheels and casters, so you can turn it 360 degrees. Uh, it has this nifty handle, so you can lug it around. It is 26.7 pounds or 12.1 kilos, but it's still fairly lightweight. Uh, that's without the battery, by the way, the weight. But as you can see here in the back, I do have the battery attached and it is very, very simple. There's this latch in the back. It allows you to unclip the battery. So the one that's supplied with the, uh, the unit is the five amp hour, but they make six amp hour. I think, don't correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, eight amp hour, 12 amp hour, basically, but uh, yeah, the five amp hour is more than enough power uh, than you'll need. And it just slips in place. Oh, by the way, in back of the batteries, they always have the meters. You can press the button to check. We have a full charge. We'll talk about the charging, by the way, because it also comes uh, with a charger. So you just snap it into place. And then, so it has this very, very high quality hose. And you can tell on the handles themselves, they uh, kind of thought of everything, right? For the ergonomics, they place these holders for the hose. So when you're storing it, it doesn't move around. So it is this very flexible and pliable, nice kind of rubberized material, this very nice color, black and green. Uh, on the tip itself, where you attach all the uh, accessories, there's this thing here that you can push and turn to allow more or less air in and out. You can reduce the suction by 20% uh, if you need that. Sometimes you have some upholstery, carpets, fabrics, things like that you'd wanna be a bit more gentle on. So you can set it to minimum or maximum air bypass directly on the nozzle itself, or you can fully close it up, close it up for the uh, maximum power. There's the uh, latch here that you're gonna use for the different accessories. And talking about accessories, one of the first thing I, I noticed and I really, really liked about this is it has an onboard storage for all your accessories. Not all, but the majority of them. So if you open this, so you have, if we look here, there's this round brush dust, dust nozzle. So that's one of the accessories. And you can just set it back like that, super well organized. This one here, you have the compact floor nozzle. So if you can do some stuff around your workshop or garage or even in the house with this. So if you look up close here, there's this kind of felt material. So you can use that to vacuum your carpets inside your vehicle if need be. Then you have this here. This is basically uh, an attachment. If you have any power tools that have the capacity to uh, absorb or take away dust, that's why they, uh, they have that here. So that's the uh, adapter itself. Uh, the hose, by the way, the diameter of this is one and seven eight inches, just like the rigid itself. So more than enough to do uh, any job you want. Uh, another attachment that they have here that you can install, this is pretty awesome. So they have this crevice tool here. This one has the Ego logo up front. And what you're going to see, you see this kind of concoction here? You see that it goes up to the front. Well, you can combine this with, check this out. This is a remote that they have. So you can control the unit itself with the remote. So you can start it, stop it, uh, and then use an LED light, which I'm gonna show in just a few seconds. And you have your turbo mode as well. So when you click the LED light, as you guys see, there's an LED light. And what you can do is combine this at the end of your nozzle here. So. You have your nozzle, right? So if you look at this, there's this placer here on the nozzle itself. So you're gonna take your remote, simply magnetically attach it. And then when you put the crevice click, you see that clicks on, look at that now. You have a light that outputs onto there. So when you're actually doing some vacuuming inside areas with low light, you can see what you're doing. So that beam of light goes through the entire crevice tool all the way till the end, and it's gonna give you some nice light output when you're uh, using this inside your vehicle. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. And then, boom, click, you can turn the light off. Then you unclip whatever tool, and then you can just store everything. So I really, really like the storage capacity. And again, you have the remote itself. So if we have a look at the front of the unit, let me turn that around. So here you have your main controls, right? So you have the power on and off button, you have your start stop, you have your speed adjustments, and you have the turbo mode. 
So what you would do is when you're ready to start using it, you put the power on and then from the unit itself, you can stop and start it as you want. So we're going to start it up. So this is the default medium speed setting. This is the eco mode, so super silent. And then you have turbo. And then with the remote, you can stop the unit or start the unit. And you can change your speeds as well or put it on turbo. And turn it off so i thought that was very very cool and once again it's going to be with you so you can attach it directly uh, to the attachment itself or the hose and then wherever you are let's say you're in the vehicle you get a phone call or somebody wants to talk to you and you want to stop it you can start and stop directly from the attachment itself how cool is that i don't think i've seen that yet on a cordless vacuum so uh, that is something to behold now what else is with the system there is a dual filtering setup so if we look at the side of the unit itself there's these clips everything is so well thought out so you press down on both sides to unlock and then you can remove the head itself so inside you have your first HEPA type filter right here that this you can clean by the way so you can just remove it and they recommend to use some uh, cold water to rinse it out you let it air dry and you can reinstall it and inside the unit itself you also have this bag so that is pretty pretty awesome so very easy tab you see how easy this is to remove so you would remove it obviously if you're using it as a wet type vac and then this attachment this is where you'd put your bag back in there's this practical tab that's right in there. You simply slot it in and there you go. Your bag is in, very, very cool. And then you take your unit back. You simply place it back on top. You lock the tabs, click, click, and there you go. That's how easy it is. Another cool feature about this, there's a filter cleaning option. Yes, they even thought of that. So this green button here in the back serves to have kind of back pressure come in and clean the filter that's on there. So what they say that you do is you put your nozzle here directly on top and then you would start it up and you press on this button a few times and then that back pressure is going to remove any of that loose dirt and debris and eject it out of the filter and inside the bag. So that way you can keep your filter uh, clean and uh, good for a very long time. So another very cool thing. Now, if we keep spinning the unit around, here in the back, if you look here, this is the blower attachment. So what you would do if you want to use it as a vacuum, you have your main hose attached here, but it comes with these clips that are very easy to remove. So click, you unhook it, you would spin your unit around, and then you come and you place it inside here, just like this and you hear that click, and now it acts as a blower. So once again, you can take your attachment. If you start it now, it's blowing air right out, and you can use whatever tool you want, including this crevice tool. There you go. And now, use it as a blower. So again, I thought that was pretty cool. You can release your attachments just like that. They thought of everything, my God. And then once you're done using it as a blower, you simply unhook it and you put it back in the front. Click, that is it. Very, very well built. Uh, here in the back now, you have your lithium ion battery. Again, this tab to release it, you can put it on your charger. It does come with a charger, by the way. So let me show you everything else it comes with because we saw the accessories that you can put inside, but there's some other stuff. Uh, first of all, they include this guy here. So 56 volt, this is a 320 watt charger. And basically it charges the five amp hour battery. So the one that comes with it in roughly 70 minutes. I highly recommend that you upgrade to the rapid charger. That's what I have for my Ego batteries. It's a 550 watt charger and it only takes 40 minutes to fully charge a five amp hour battery. And they got a newer unit. It's the 700 watt turbo charger. Uh, and that one will charge a five amp hour battery in just 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, either get the 700 watt or the rapid charger. 
here. I'll leave links in the description, but it really cuts down on your uh, charging time and that way you always have fresh batteries to go with. Uh, but you can do an entire vehicle or two uh, with this, especially in the normal speed and you'll never run out of juice. So uh, yeah, just note that this goes a long way, but it has their 56 volt uh, battery architecture. They also give you two extension tubes. So you can have kind of this pole system going and you can attach your uh, accessories to them. So for example, here, this is the uh, large floor nozzle and brush bar, and you can remove the brush bar itself. This is more kind of this carpeted type material, uh, like vinyl kind of brushes. If you guys want that for large carpets, you can unclip this. And then they also supply this big type squeegee. And then you simply clip this new one on. So you see here, this is a rubberized, more squeegee type for your large uh, floor nozzle and brush bar. And you can remove that. So those are more accessories, but note that this really extends uh, the uh, blower that you're using. You put it on your nozzle itself and all of a sudden you have a longer reach for your bigger jobs in your shop, in your garage, or in your house. So it comes jam-packed with accessories. Now, let's have a look at the decibel ratings for both units so you guys can see uh, how exactly they sound is this unit despite being large and powerful uh, is uh, pretty pretty quiet compared to some even more compact units like this uh, of course they're vacuums right they still get loud but you're going to notice the difference so let me turn on my db meter here there we go so i'm going to put this on screen so you can see this let's start with the rigid vacuum so you guys have an idea <laughs> Go. so roughly 83 84 dbs and now let's do the same with the uh we're going to do the three speeds for the ego so you can see it we're going to first start with the eco now we're going to move up to the normal setting and turbo mode So even in turbo mode, you guys noticed this was only 81, 82 dBs. In eco mode can drop into the low 70s and then upper uh, 70s for your standard mode. So very, very quiet for this kind of a big size. Uh, and the difference with this one, don't forget, every 3 dBs you're doubling the volume, right? So where this one was in the 83, 84, this one was the 81, 82. So you're still getting a few dBs in turbo mode lower. And then if you use the normal setting, well, then you're way lower. And of course, the eco... Uh, this is very, very quiet, so it shouldn't really bother uh, people that are around you. So if we look at other features here up front, if you're using this as a wet vac, you're obviously going to have a lot of liquids. Uh, so instead of taking the full unit and dunking it uh, into your sink or drain, they have this drain plug. Look how awesome this is. So you would screw it that way and then counterclockwise to unscrew it, you remove it. You can dump whatever liquids are in there. It's in the lowest part of the bin itself. And then you simply replace the cap, screw it on nicely, and that's it. You're good to go. So that pretty much covers all the features. What do you guys think? I think it looks awesome. It looks futuristic. And uh, yeah, let me give you my final thoughts on this. So for the final thoughts, first, let's talk about the warranty. So on this one, for the tool itself, you're looking at five years of warranty. And on the battery, that's a three-year warranty uh, over at Ego. Their customer service is usually pretty, pretty good. And uh, what did you guys think? So by the way, if you're getting the entire kit, we're looking at 500 USD to roughly 675, depending on where you're getting this. They're right now selling like hotcakes. Uh, they were, I think, long awaited. They were announced uh, at SEMA in uh, late 2023. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool option. Um, but if you get it, uh, if you already have the batteries and you don't need the kit itself, well, then you're looking at 300 to 350 USD, again, depending on where you're getting it, uh, compared to roughly 100 USD for the rigid. Uh, is this still good? Absolutely. It's still in my arsenal. It's super compact. It works very, very well. Uh, it comes with one stage filter inside. It doesn't have the bag uh, that's like this one. So this one has the filter plus the bag for all the dirt and dust particles. So uh, depending on what you need, what your needs are, both are wet and dry. Both have 110 CFM of suction power. So power is not going to be the issue regardless of which one you have. This one is slightly more portable, obviously, because it's more compact. It's less than half the weight. However, you only have 
have a four gallon tank capacity. So again, depending on your needs, you might want the bigger nine gallon size. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, that's up to you to decide. But as far as performance and accessories and the value, uh, I think value, the rigid still takes it. Uh, however, for the accessories, uh, this one definitely does the trick. The overall build quality, I should say, despite it being pretty much all plastic, this is high grade. Uh, it, the design is absolutely amazing. This looks futuristic. Uh, you can easily lug it around, no problem. Of course, the biggest feature uh, for me is the fact that it's cordless. So you don't have to, I have a 20 foot cord on this one. Um, and sometimes I run out of cord, so I need to use an extension depending on where I am in my garage. It's a fairly big garage, uh, 24 feet by 24 feet. But if you're uh, doing stuff outside, you want to go around vehicles, things like that, you're going to need an extension cord. So with this, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, both have, of course, carrying handles. Of course, yes, it is more than twice the, um, the, the weight but it's still uh, not heavyweight by any means and it just does the trick and I just think it looks cool and of course the remote on the handle really really helps that onboard storage for all your accessories to be neatly uh, kind of packed and stored I thought that was pretty cool the fact that you can clean the filter uh, and the LED light with this little distance remote that you can have to start and stop your vacuum you don't have to be at the unit to kind of do that so there's just so much going for it uh, I wish they would come in at a lower price point I think without the battery the 300 to 350 USD I think it's more than justified so of course what increases the price is when you have to get it with the battery ion lithium arc batteries are very expensive and uh, that's like almost half the cost of this unit itself right so it would make sense if you don't have a battery that this can get quite costly however if you're looking to have the full ego ecosystem including their uh, leaf blower to use as a car dryer then it makes a lot of sense because you simply can reuse that same battery for all your ego tools all the batteries uh, for ego are compatible with this one they don't recommend you going under the 5 amp hour if you want to have full power and capacity, so 5 amp hour and above. If you have that smaller 2.5, ah, you might run out of uh, juice uh, fairly quickly. So 5 amp hour and up, so the kit comes with the 5 amp hour and that's more than enough. Uh, but I'm curious to know your thoughts. Is this something you're looking into purchasing? What are the features that you like? If you already have one, what are your thoughts and opinions on your usage I always like to have viewer feedback drop a comment in the comment section uh, again guys you're gonna see this probably in more videos I think it's pretty cool I'll leave the links to everything in the description under the video for you guys to check them out and in the meantime don't forget keep it tight keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one